Okay fam, so this video is by Derek Branch. New AI program is very disturbing guys. In 2025, we've seen leaps and bounds when it comes to AI, especially more on the artistic creative side. It's been going crazy. Anyway, let's get into this. Let's see what's going on. Like, comment and subscribe. So your boy Dway's on, please let go. Your chicken's looking nice pal. Woo! Yo, he stole my chicken! <laughs> Got a crispy treasure, can't slow me down. Hot and gold and I'm out of this town. Woo, woo, Friday, fit for me. Thank you. Prince been sliding, blinding out the door. Fried love in my arms, can't give it up no more. Hey. Now guys, that could be AI, bro. That looks so real, bruv. That gotta be an impersonator or something. It's so clean and smooth, too. Do y'all remember this from 2005? Where they had Michael Jackson doing a KFC commercial? Yeah, me either. Because this is actually AI. A new AI software just came out. It's called Sora 2. Just feed it all the data that it needs and it'll make it happen. Okay. All right, I'm gonna show you how to do the- Let me know down below if you want me to test out Sora on stream or something. Perfect everyday glam. First step, blush. Just grab a ton of it, swirl it around, boom, right on there. If your face doesn't look like you just ran a marathon in the desert, you're not doing it right. Doesn't sound like Jake Paul. That's what I'm saying. Now guys, tell me that didn't look real. When I watch videos online, I can usually tell you which ones are AI. There's always some kind of weird defect. This one of Jake Paul? I almost kind of believe he did this. The only thing about it is for me, I feel like his beard doesn't look right. But it's AI. See the logo? Look at this. They got Rick and Morty and Cartman from South Park. All right, listen up, Tiny Parker Tyrant. We popped in for a crystal and you're already being a pain in my ass. Dude, you show up in my town with your weird grandpa gun thing and think you can boss me around? Screw you. It's not a gun, it's a portal. AI is going to create so many copyright infringements and flipping disputes. It's going to be insane. This is insane. Don't even get me started with the anime. They got One Punch Man and Goku fighting. Let's kick it up a notch. They got Goku and Saitama in Squid Games. <laughs> what is this place? Feels like some kind of game, but the air's heavy. No way! Whatever it is, we get through it. Yeah, ready when you are. No, bro, I, what was that face, bro? And why are you shaking like that? I ain't gonna hold you. I would watch the f out of that. Now, don't get me started on the fights. What? Oh, come on! Bro, this is AI? AI created this? That's crazy. Oh, shit! Do many expansion? Oh hell no! Bro, people's jobs are at risk. Oh my! Goku just broke. Oh, clearly, but I mean, damn! It's like, hey, I can just create the whole episode for you, bro. You don't need voice actors. You don't need animators, graphic designers, nothing. Just tell the AI what you want, that it's good to go. Oh got a domain expansion. Some of y'all don't watch anime, but when you see this, this is it's a big deal. Now this got us thinking. Whoa, art majors crying right now. Animators are cooked. Because if fans are making this, everything that we waited years for to get released, we can just do it ourselves. Y'all know how long <laughs> we waited for Demon Slayer, which by the way, that sh was hard. I was tearing it up in that movie theater. Akaza! You, some, some of you guys don't know what I'm talking about. But we waited so long. Now fans are gonna take it into their own hands. This is bad. Did that Demon Slayer movie come out worldwide? Or was it only in some, released in some territories? Y'all want to see something even crazier? Wendy's, McDonald's, and Burger King fighting. <laughs> Wendy Coach. Time to serve it home. <laughs> As you guys can see, this is going to change the world. Now, some of you guys are going to say, Derek, it's just anime. It's, you know what I'm saying? Who cares? Check this out. Me and my husband. You okay? Yeah, I just... Hi. Husband does not look real. That's one thing I want to say. He does not look real at all. Hey, so husband? Works for me. Now, guys, it's being said that this is AI. Which, when I first saw this, that's not what my brain said. I was like, wow, this is really cool. And then right after that, I was like, oh, f like, I can't what, what, what was so cool about this? What, what, what was your brain saying that if this wasn't AI, what would be so cool about this? the difference we're doomed 
we're doomed. From this point on, none of y'all are real to me, okay? Because AI is getting out of control. They can fundamentally make anything, right? Am I really broadcasting this from the bathroom toilet? Am I really reacting to this video? We will never know. Now, I've been looking into this, right? It seems like certain companies have been sending out copyright lawsuits. And right now, the question that we all have is... See, this is exactly what I was saying. The copyright is going to go crazy. Is this legal? As you can see here, they have... <laughs> they have the SpongeBob and Patrick cooking man. Because they're using other people's likeness to gain attention or to gain clicks or to monetize. So therefore, there has to be some sort of infringement. <laughs> so we're about to see what's going to go down. Now, if you guys didn't know why this is an issue, it's because somebody could make content using a mixture of other people's faces. How it works is that you feed the AI a bunch of data. So people's faces, so Facebook, if they got, if they put all y'all faces and pictures into this AI, they got y'all faces, which how will we know if it was sold that way? And see these dots? Basically the computer analyzes it and it categorizes them and it becomes these things called a cluster. So every time an image comes up, it knows how to categorize it. Is this a hand? Is this an eye? Is this a sword? Then when it makes the video, the picture, it knows where to place everything. And how do you think it got trained? Remember these? CAPTCHAs, right? See, this one says stairs. So then when you click and say which one are stairs, it teaches the AI. Imagine what? if billions of people... No one have been getting so many of these lately for no good reason. Like, it's always like, oh, we suspect suspicious activity. I'd be like, bro, I've just been like watching a video, bro. How's the suspicious? What are you talking about? This. It's going to get so on point. Now, look at this art. One is the actual art and one is AI. I don't know which one is which. That's definitely... Which one is which? The one on the right is AI. It looks weird. The AI one. But as you can see, if it collects enough data of the original art, it can kind of figure out how to make it itself. Real artists are now seeing their unique work in like a edited AI form. And now apps are collecting all of that data. And then you could just type in whatever you want. And look at this. I typed in Rockstar with Dreads, Black Leather Coat, something like me. It's not far away. Yeah, it's not far away. To be honest. Now, should art look like J. Cole, bruh? <laughs> be mad. Should people be mad that pieces of their physical features are being used on content? No. Who cares, bruh? We only live for 100 years, then we're out. Like, do you really care, bruh? This body's not yours forever. Can this be reported as copyright? I think that this is something that does have to be figured out. Because look at this. This is Billie Eilish's face on somebody's body, which means what else is. She hot. She hot. That's a hot combination. I like made. it. I like it. I like the the chain too, the the, the what you call those things, the links. Hmm. Hmm. There's got to be some complications in this. Sorry, Billy, I chose you. <laughs> are, they, are those the infinity links? Them the ones? If people can just make steel art, AI art, a lot of true artists are about to be out of business. I ain't gonna hold you. The way that technology is moving, I don't think this can be stopped. If you guys didn't know, there's another app called True Artists will always find a way to prevail. Do know. It's an AI music generator. So it's the same idea. It collects all this data of hit songs that you know, and you could just type in what you want. R&B, slow, the lyrics about heartbreak, divorce, guitar solo, Alicia Keys type beat. And now we have stuff like this. This is Xania Monet, and she supposedly just got signed for a $3 million deal. Yeah, right. But she's going viral as hell right now. People are upset. I don't That's want... That's just a headline, bro. You're not signing some computer code, bro. You're signing the people who made it. AI artist, they're not happy. I refuse to support any company that signs, endorses, or promotes the destruction of human creativity or that openly champions AI over authentic human expression. I feel like both can coexist. I don't understand why people are so threatened by AI. I get it. I get it that it's going to be very hard to adjust but if you really are a creative individual if you are somebody who's able to no matter what no matter what tools are in front of him you're able to create and make something out of that bro you'll always be fine because you adapt you're an adaptive person these people just oh my god what am i gonna do with ai bro you're going to find something trust me bro you're gonna find something or you're just going to do nothing and you can still it's still like that today you can either do something or do nothing. Tech has always been changing. Tech has always been shifting. We have to adapt. Now, guys, just so you know, if this becomes a... No, when this becomes a thing, this is going to be ideal for record labels. Because now they can just pick what she looks like. 
Pick what she sounds like. They don't need to have artists come to the studio. They could just they could just control everything. They'll still be real artists, though. Now, I have been seeing some comments about people talking about what would her live show be like. Hologram. They're like, who would go to a show where the artist is AI? I'm going to just have to stop. A lot of people would. Oh, there. This is already a thing. Japan's already ahead of us. This is Hatsune Miku, a Vocaloid, right? It's not a person. It's just a character. And they artificially make her songs. You see? Hologram. So, I mean, it, it, it is inhumane. I, I will... I can't negate that. It is weird. Because it, it's like you just... But it, it's no different than Spongebob standing up there. You know what I'm saying? Spongebob is not a real character. But if Spongebob had to have a show, there would still be thousands of kids who pull up to to the Spongebob show. You know what I'm saying? So I can't really say that it's completely terrible because things like this already exist. There are real characters and there are unreal characters. Yeah, guys, expect a huge shift in culture. I want to see what y'all got to say. Guys, if there's any more AI videos that you have seen, hey, put them in the comments. I want to see them. While we're at it, let's do an AI test. Which one's AI? Which one is AI? Oh, uh, shit. It's so hard to tell. I can't even tell. Hey, look. I'd say the top one. The top one is AI. I don't know. The knife don't look right. I don't know. That's... I knew it. The top one, the the knife just didn't look right, bruv. The knife didn't look right. Wow. Which one's AI uh -huh. here? Oh, man. Uh... Oh, this one is hard. I can't even tell. Oh, but look at the top. Look how this is breaking. And look how this is breaking. This don't look natural, bruv. Look how it's breaking it. This this looks real. So I'll say this is AI. The, the bottom is AI. The bottom is AI. Look how it broke. That don't look real. I knew There's it. No... I could just tell certain small elements, bro. Way. Okay, this one the is The bottom impossible. one's AI. The bottom one? Yeah, look at his finger. Look at the finger here. This is definitely AI. Look at his finger. For sure. The top one's a real hand. Look at those sure. fingers. Okay. I knew it. Oh, this one is... Okay, this one is hard. You know, I only say the bottom one is AI because the color is so rich. This color is not as rich, but I'll, I'll say... Let's see. The top one's AI. The bottom one is it's AI. This is a spoon. What? Oh, I... Oh... Unrealized, unrealized. Got me, I don't know, got <laughs> Which one is AI? Okay. Oh. This one look really real, I can't lie to you. I'd say the bottom one is AI. I don't know, the bottom one's missing frames. Maybe that one. The bottom one is AI. <laughs> what? Yo, this one is so hard. Oh, you see that? Oh, look at, look at the, look at the, is that mints here? That looks like flipping. I don't know. That don't look right. I thought I was. I thought I was on a roll. Ah, right, let's see. The Which one is AI here? Which one is AI here? The top. Tomatoes are falling on there. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. I need to see this video again. I'm sorry. The oh, this one. This one is Tomatoes AI. Are falling Bottom on one. There. The jalapenos falling on there too soft. Oh, okay, I knew yep, it. Yep, yep. I knew it. Which one is AI? Let's, the why top don't one gotta be that? AI, bro. It's too clean. Yeah, the top one is way too fast, bruv. Nah, this nigga spitting that shit. This nigga's... Oh. Wait, what? No way. This man was cooking. Nah, you see, humans can still be better, guys. Look at look at the top man was... How he was cooking this shit. The top one gotta be AI, bro. It's too clean. Oh, oh but you can see on the bottom... Let me know how ah, you did yeah. in the test. If you guys got a lot of these wrong, as you can see, we're doomed. I think I got like, if there were nine, I probably got like six right and three wrong. I think. Something like this that. This video ends here, guys, as I always say. Okay, shout out to this brew right here. Appreciate the video, my boy. You know what I'm saying? 
Uh, you guys let me know how well did you do on the test if you did the test and uh, do you feel like AI is a threat to you? Do you feel like AI is a threat to your loved ones? Um, what do the next 10 years look like, man? It's it's kind of scary if this is where we're at right now. You can only imagine by 2040, bro. Oh my gosh. It's going to be completely indistinguishable, you know, uh, from reality. It's damn near pretty much there. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's interesting to kind of see how far we are, man. Um, yeah, it's your boy Doris on Blaze, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. Love y'all. Stay safe. Stay blessed. 2026 is on the horizon. I hope y'all have met your goals for this year. This year, we, 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 elevating. Let's go. Love y'all, man.